position of Urdhva Hastasana with two blocks and a strap. So place one block between your feet and place one block between your upper inner thighs and then hold on to the strap with your hands at shoulders distance apart and lift the strap up and overhead. Let the thighs internally rotate and the outer thighs squeeze the block. So the outer thighs squeeze the inner thighs which squeeze the block and then lift the low belly up off the pelvis and lift the rib cage up off the abdomen, lift the back ribs up off of the lower back, stretch the arms up to the ceiling, put tension on the strap, extend the arms and legs fully, make lots of space and length in your body here, and let the abdomen settle back towards the anterior surface, the front surface of the lumbar spine. So let the front waist move to the back waist, As your arms move back, let the waist move back, stand right over your arches, and lengthen and breathe here. Full extension in the arms and the legs. Create an ascension of the spine from bottom to top, deep inside yourself. Deep breath here, and then lower your arms down. Now we'll practice side angle pose. Start in Tadasana with feet together. And then bring your hands onto your hips and step your feet wide. Have your toes pointing in so the heels are a little wider than toes. Long spine, shoulders back. And then turn the right leg all the way out and the left toes in a little more. Shoulders to the back of the shoulder sockets, long in the waist, and then bend the right knee deeply. Rest the right forearm onto the right thigh and get long from the left heel all the way through the top of the head. So the trunk is on a diagonal here, lengthening in line with the back leg, which is straight and extended. And then lift the left arm to the ceiling to help you open the left ribs. Think of lifting the belly to the ceiling and think of grounding that right sitting bone forward towards the right groin so the buttocks is not reaching back behind you. And then take the top arm all the way up and across, gazing at the top hand, and find a nice long line of energy from back heel all the way up through the top hand. And then inhale and lift yourself out of the pose, straightening the legs, hands to hips and change sides, turning the left leg all the way out, turn the right toes even more in, shoulders back, long spine, bend the left knee deeply, rest the left forearm onto the left thigh and open the right shoulder so that the front of your trunk is pointing straight forward long line from the back heel extended in the back leg and all the way through the spine through the top of the head and then lift the right arm up lift the belly to the ceiling open the right ribs drop the left butt cheek down and under you and ground the center of that left butt cheek forward towards the groin Strong in the back leg, ground the right thigh back in space as you extend the knee and then take that top arm all the way across so that it continues that diagonal line gazing at the top palm. Strong in the back leg, very bent in the front knee, lifted in the low belly and turn the right ribs open towards the ceiling. Gather the left butt cheek more underneath you. And then inhale and come all the way up to straight legs, arms extending to the sides, hands to hips, feet parallel. Recover with an open chest and then step your feet together. Now we'll practice Upavishta Konasana. So sit on the corner of a folded blanket as you see here and stretch your legs out to the sides. So don't have your legs too wide. I would say about 120 degree angle is plenty wide. 
and take your hands behind you on the blanket and press your fingertips down into the blanket so that you can lengthen the spine up, shoulders back, tops of the thighs are very grounded and make sure the thighs are not internally rotating or externally rotating but the fronts of your legs are pointing straight up to the ceiling feet are pointing straight up to the ceiling in flexion ground down the tops of your femurs and lift the low belly inner and outer knees equally grounded inner feet extending Spread the inner legs from the groins to the inner knees to the ankles and gather the outer thighs back into the hips. And then start to take a twist to the right. So the left hand comes in front of your pubic bone onto the floor and the right hand is behind you on the blanket. Keeping the legs active, start to turn the belly, turn the low belly, turn the navel, turn the rib cage. Left ribs forward, right ribs back. Get grounded, especially in that left femur. Inner left knee grounding. And come back to the center. Pause here. And then twist over to the other side, taking the right fingertips to the sticky mat in front of your pubic bone. Left hand behind. Ground the right femur, ground the right inner knee as you turn the low belly to the left. Rotate the navel to the left, rotate the ribs. Take the left ribs forward and the right ribs back. Keep your breath open here as you turn, as you twist. And then come back to the center. Gather the outer thighs towards the hip sockets. Lengthen the side ribs up towards the armpits and take your shoulders back and down. Inner knees grounding. And then start to fold forward now, taking your hands in front of you and then lower down onto forearms. Elbows walking forward. Let the abdomen recede. Let the upper buttocks release down towards the blanket. So the navel recedes back towards the anterior spine and the bottom front ribs still extend forwards to keep the front of the trunk long. Keep the kidney area open and expanding. So don't let those bottom back ribs sink forward but rather gently move the front ribs towards the back ribs and then slide the whole rib cage forward. Buttocks grounding down behind you, thigh bones grounding vigorously. Steady breathing here. And then walk your hands back towards the pelvic floor and then take your hands behind you so that you can sit tall. Staying active in the legs. And then slide your legs together, bending the knees. Now we'll do a version of Virasana, seated pose. Open up your blanket onto your mat like you see here. And place your block onto the blanket and then come onto your shins with that block between the feet. Rest the top of your head onto the sticky mat and use your hands to pull the calf muscles down towards the Achilles tendons and out to the sides so that your thigh bones can sit down between the shins and the calves went lateral, so there's room for the thighs to sit down. And then pull the skin of the shins forward and pull the flesh of the buttocks back so that you can really sit on the center of the sitting bones. Make your adjustments here. Make sure that your feet and toes are pointing straight back. Rest your hands on your thighs, 
Feel the natural curves of your spine here, the head balanced right over the pelvic floor. Breathe up and down your spine here. Create a little lift from the low belly and then interlace your fingers and press your palms forward and lift the hands up to the ceiling. Take the arms back and keep the waist pulling back as the arms go back. So you want to avoid the belly swinging forward as the arms go back. The belly should recede back. The elbows pull in towards each other. The hands press up. The lower belly lifts. The thighs are grounding down. And then exhale and lower your arms down and switch the interlace of the fingers. Press your palms forward and pull the abdomen back and lengthen the abdomen as you lift the arms back and lift the palms to the ceiling. Long in the waist. Let the arms be an extension of your waist. Press the shoulder blades forward into the rib cage, but let the abdomen settle back and lengthen. The roots of the thighs are grounded. Breathing here, getting grounded through the sitting bones as you inhale and soften and open the soft palate, the back of the throat as you exhale and then lower your arms down and rest your hands on your thighs. And now come to the floor for a posture that I call neutral. It's a supported neutral position. So make a loop in your strap and step your feet into that loop and then place a block between the feet. And then you'll begin to tighten the strap but leave enough space so that you can now place the other block between your knees and then tighten the strap around the centers of your thighs so that your legs are very supported here in a neutral parallel position, thighs strapped together, block between the knees, block between the feet. So you're very parallel in your legs and then lay down, release the flesh of the buttocks away from the low back and reach your arms overhead along the floor and start to breathe length up and down your trunk. Let the abdomen relax and settle and lengthen. See if you can create length in your belly as you relax the pelvis down let your femurs relax and settle. The femurs are the thigh bones. So let the thigh bones relax here as you're all strapped in and supported. And then change the position of the arms into more of a relaxation position. So arms more by your sides, palms facing the ceiling, shoulder blades settled down your back, Relax here as you breathe length into your spine. Smooth, steady breath. And just feel your pelvis here in neutral. So not tucked and not arched. But there's a neutrality to the pelvis, the legs, and the spine here. And see if this neutrality can support an open breath. And so the bottom ribs open just as much as the middle and top ribs as you inhale. And exhale. And then inhale again here. And a smooth exhalation. Continue to bring your attention inside. And then bring your knees towards your chest. Remove the block. Take your legs out of the strap loop. And come out of the pose. <laughs>